Welcome, welcome, welcome my friend to another video. Hope you're having an absolutely wonderful day today so far. So guys, today's video is going to be a blast because we're going to be taking a look at the best brawler in every single rarity. Now, I like to do this video every single time a balance change rolls around. However, there's one thing that you need to keep in mind about the meta that we're in right now. So this update, we've received 14 different maps and a substantial balance change with the update. So a lot has changed. Brawlers that weren't really relevant in the game are now really shining, which is really, really exciting. And the list that we're going to be taking a look at today is way different from the one that we did previously. So hope you guys are pumped up and excited to see who's the best in every rarity. Let's jump right into it. Now guys, one of the main reasons I enjoy making this video so much is because we couple the gameplay with the Rarity Gun Game mini game. If you're not familiar with that, let me catch you up to speed very briefly. So basically what it is, is very similar to the gun game in a Call of Duty game. So what we're going to do is start off with the lowest rarity, so the beginner brawlers, and if we get at least one trophy in Showdown, we can progress on to the next brawler. Now, if we get less than one trophy, so maybe minus one or minus two, we have to play with that brawler once again until we get at least one trophy, and then we can move on to the next brawler. So it's going to be a really fun gameplay plus some interesting information on who is the best brawler in every single rarity. So guys, without any further ado, let's get into the list. Alrighty guys, so the first rarity we're going to be taking a look at is the lowest one, so the beginner brawlers, and then we're going to be working our way up in rarity throughout the video until we get to the legendary brawlers. So guys, taking a look at the beginner brawlers, and we have a lot to choose from, and I believe the last time we did this video, Dynamite was our best beginner brawler. However, things have changed. Now, the best beginner brawler you can be in the meta that we're currently in is none other than Brock. Guys, Brock is insanely good. He's all over the place in this meta. He's incredibly good on bounty. He's really really good on showdown duo showdown as well as really good on gem grab Having a role as a support brawler and now we're even seeing him being played on heist So he literally has relevancy on every single game mode in this game So guys hopping straight away into it on robo boss on Death Valley with Brock. Now we have to get at least one trophy in order to progress onto the next rarity. So guys wish us luck If we don't get it, we have to play with Brock again until we get it. So guys cross your fingers. Alrighty guys, hopping straight away into it, and there's another thing that we have to keep in mind, is that we're on our main account right now, so we're playing at 500 level trophy gameplay, so we'll see how we can do, it's going to be a little bit different than what we're used to, because I'm constantly playing on my mini, but guys, we're going to do our best, we have to play passive, get some boxes in the very beginning, and just do our thing. Now we got a Pam, we got a Pam, that's going to be a little bit difficult to go again, she's pretty dang good right now in the meta, maybe she'll just kind of go away, maybe, but if not, we'll settle with just one elixir, I don't want to... I don't want to battle with the with the Pam right now. And people are dying relatively quickly. And if that boss rolls in as well, that's another thing that they have to worry about. So if we play passive, my goodness, guys. Push up in the mods, guys. We're literally not doing anything. And we've already gotten to that point where we're going to gain one trophy. That was easy. Play in the mods, guys. My goodness. This is awesome. Okay, so there's a boss. I think Pam is going for him. Nita's on the inside. We're just going to chill on the outside for a little bit. Okay, Nita wants a team, but no thank you guys. We're rocking the hashtag no spin yet. Doing our best with that. Okay, can we kill the Nita? Looks like Pam is going to be able to maybe. Okay, we'll just deal with this bear. Do our own thing. Look at this, Pam rolling things. She is de destroying. If we get on this though, can we take first place with this? We missed. If only we would have hit him. But now we can just keep our distance here. Maybe, just maybe. If we get on the right side of this boss, he's going to have to deal with it. All right, let's get away from the boss as far as we can so he has to deal with it because Primo has to get close to him. Let's see. Back him in the corner. Back him in the corner. And he's out of ammo now. So he's going to stroll up through here. Boss or me, Primo? Boss or me? Ah, oh, we're missing really badly. Okay, where's the next boss? Roll in. He's got a lot of walls to protect himself, though. And he's got a big power cube advantage on us. Okay, we got a land of shots, guys. No, uh, maybe not. Okay, Primo deserved to win that one. He outplayed us by far. But guys, rolling on to the next rarity. That's plus four trophies. I am completely fine with that. So guys, the next rarity is the rare brawlers. Gaining trophies, that's what I'm talking about, guys. After that season reset, it feels good to get some more trophies. So guys, rolling on to the rare brawlers. So we have Primo, Barley, and Poco. Now, the last two times we've done this video, Poco has been our rare brawler that is the best in the game. However, I'm switching things up. I think Barley has a better spot in this meta than Poco. So guys, coming in at our best rare brawler in the meta that we're in right now is Barley, guys. He basically fits into every single game mode, and I feel like Poco, he's really good on gem grab. He's pretty dang good on showdown and duo showdown, and also he can play in Brawl Ball. But I feel like Barley just is in a better spot than he is right 
right now in the meta that we're currently in. But let me know what you guys think about that pick. That's the only close one that I feel like is on this list. So guys, hopping straight away into it, Robo Boss with Barley. I think it should be pretty dang good. Again, we're at 500 trophies, so we have to get plus one trophy to progress onto the next rarity. We're going pretty good so far. We've only done one, so we're perfect so far. But guys, it can really turn for the worst. This rarity gun game can be pretty difficult in certain situations. But guys, hopping straight away into it, wish me luck. Is he going to get us? Oh my goodness, guys. We have to start over. He totally charged us as soon as we were talking about being aggressive and not aggressive. He was aggressive there, but guys, it worked out for him. So guys, let's hop into the next one. We have to play again with Barley. Dang it. What the heck? That totally caught me off guard, guys. That bull just charged us down and he just lost total regard for almost dying. Like he got really, really low off our poison. Let's see if the Primo does the same thing. I'm not sure. Normally someone would back off, you know what I mean? And just go for the power cubes. Where Primo isn't charging down on us, you know. But he's going to be able to bully us out of getting all these power cubes, I believe. But it, at the very least, we can get some elixir out of it. Okay, so we ended up getting more than half of our um, super. So that's really, really good. And at the very end, we'll be able to get this box as well. So I'm fine with that. I can't believe that bull rushed us down, guys. That's so, so weird. That doesn't happen very much. Okay, here we go. But I feel a little redemption here, guys. It stinks that we lost in the very beginning. We are off to a really good roll, and I feel pretty comfortable on Robo Boss, Just because the matches go relatively quick. Okay, we got a bull on us once again. Okay, see? That's the normal thing to do. <laughs> These bulls are going insane, guys. What the heck? Are we, like, showing ourselves as being, like, really, really fresh meat or something like that? Because they keep barreling in on us. We almost died again. I was going to eat my words. The freaking bulls, guys, they're giving, a, giving us problems in today's video, but I guess that time it worked out for us. Okay, again, we have to make it to fifth place this time because we are below 500 now. Okay, we're just going to... Okay, guys, we got it. <laughs> now let's try and take first place. Let's get these trophies back. We need redemption. Redemption, baby. Okay, if he's gonna go for the yep he's gonna go for the primo which we can get him in a pretty tight spot here with our super let's see if is bull around here there he is i feel more comfortable being over here there's still five players where the heck are they i only see two of them okay spread another super maybe we can get another super in the process hopefully never mind we keep them at arm's length let's not let the bull charge up too much Primo has a super as well, so it's not good. We're going down. We're going down. <laughs> Fourth place? It's not bad. This sh showdown is being run by tanks, guys. It's insane. Two Rudos at the very end. But guys, nonetheless, we're moving on to the next rarity. And that is the super rares. So plus two trophies after losing seven. Feels bad, man. Those bulls, man. They're giving us problems in today's video. But guys, nonetheless, moving on to the super rares. And I feel like if you've been following the meta, you can kind of keep up with who's the better of the super. I feel like this is a pretty easy one in my opinion, and that is Penny, guys. Penny is so freaking good right now. I feel like ever since the last balance change, when the width of her attack got widened, she became extremely, extremely good in this meta. She's insanely good on bounty. She's a great gem carrier. She's really, really good on multiple different game modes. Showdown, do a showdown. So guys, we're going to hop straight away into it with her. Hopefully we can do well. Maybe we can use the boss with a little bit of bursting action um after the boss if someone is like trailing us or something we'll see how we can do hopefully we can keep this going and hopefully we don't um lose like we did with barley hopefully no bulls are pressuring us like they did when we were barley but i guess lobbers are kind of fresh meat you know what i mean but guys hopping into the game see how we can do all right all right all right so guys with the lineup that we have because i got a sheet right in front of me of the brawlers that we have in today's video i think this is doable and guys you know i believe in karma but I think this is doable. I think we can get this pretty solid throughout. Like, no more losing. No more losing. Okay, burst her down. Oof, look at that damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay. It's either Shelly or me. Who are you going to go for? Okay, she's doing good. She's being sandwiched, too. Get him, Mortar! Okay, she's being sandwiched. She got a mortar shooting at her too now. <laughs> I don't want to be here though now. There's three brawlers. But I guess we're kind of safe by our mortar. You know what I mean? I believe we are. That was a bad, that was a weird situation, guys. I didn't like that. She's trying to get her super. We're just going to keep pressuring this tar, and I feel like it's going to come back to bite us. 
Go like this. We're just, I bet you this Tara hates us right now. Absolutely hates us. We got another mortar on deck. Okay, technically we need one more spot. One more position. If we get hit by one more, a few more attacks, I, th I think Tara's getting really close to her super. Someone else die, please. Okay, there's a Shelly. Okay, she's playing the camping game, which is smart. Someone's gotta go down. I think we gotta kinda stir this up. Okay, we got a boss rolling in. Oh, she's going in the poison. That's our way out here. Take her out. That's our best bet. Yes, okay, we got it. Now we are free to go. We only need that plus one trophy. So if we die now, I'm fine with that. We got a boss on us as well. Tara's getting her sweet pleasure, the revenge. You hit once. How are we still alive? <laughs> Go for the Tara, please. Tara's just going for us. I'm sure she's close to her super, but we're going to end up dying by literally just getting bullied by the robot. Alrighty, guys. So another Primo wins it. Guys, the tanks, I'm telling you, they're solid right now in Showdown. Or maybe just on Roboboss. I'm not sure. So, guys, hopping into the epics. And, again, I'm happy about this one as well. I feel like Frank has been dominant for a very long time. But, guys, Frank is no longer the best epic. The best epic in this game right now is Pam. Pam got a great buff in this last update. And now she's relevant on more game modes other than Gem Grab. Gem Grab is her best game mode, but she's also good on Bounty now. She's really good on Showdown and Duo Showdown. She just has rel She's even being played on Heist sometimes. So, guys, hopping straight away into it, we'll see how we can do with Pam. I think we'll be able to do pretty dang good. Why me? No! No, guys, we talked a big game. I think we have to go back to camping. <laughs> Look at the teams! There's nothing we can do about that. There's totally nothing we can do about that. We, it was either go against a team of two or a team of three with two primos and a dynamite. Alrighty, guys, hopping into our second attempt with Pam. Now, I'm sure you guys probably didn't see the whole clip because I like to clip the parts out where I where I die just so it's not you watch a whole match. Um, it would get way too long if uh, we put even the losses in. So I at least show you guys that I die. But then we hop into the next one. But guys, teaming, my goodness. Have, have you guys kind of gotten a little bit aggravated with it? I feel like this is kind of Ray speaking like real talk. I Normally, like with games, nothing really gets to me a whole lot. But ever since I took the pledge to not team, it's dang near impossible to make videos that um, corresponds with Solo Showdown. Which is like my top fives, this, and stuff like that. So it gets really, really frustrating. You know what I mean? And I feel like if teaming in Showdown doesn't get better, or if something like moving the mods, but for example like this, people are still teaming, and this is a mod, so it's not really putting an end to it. Maybe a few of them, maybe like uh, Leech Life and Energy Drink kind of do it, and Meteor Shower, maybe just this one. But it's not getting any better. And if it doesn't get better, and if it just teaming just be, is a thing in Showdown, I think that's something that we just have to accept. I'm still going to support the not spinning, but it just becomes very, very difficult when everyone else is doing it, you know what I mean? So that is real talk Ray off. It's the only thing that really kind of gets me in Showdown, or uh, Brawl Stars, right now at least. Okay guys, so we made it. That's the perks of being under 500, is you only have to make it to fifth place. So first game, very difficult. Not a lot of teaming in this game, which as you can see, the, the games are a little bit easier when there's no teaming. Um, but yeah, there's this nothing worse when you're in between one team of two and a team of three. You're sandwiched in between that. There's no getting around that. You're not going to win. Okay. Let's see. Maybe we get first place, get some trophies back. We're going against the Nita. And she's got some power cubes under her belt now, though. She's going to have to take some damage by Pam or Poison. Okay. We just have to rush her. Damage her a little bit. Nah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I don't know how close she is to her super, but again, she's at that point where she's got to take damage by the poisoner, though. We have the upper hand here. We have much more range. Doing my best, I think. Oh, we missed all those that time. Okay, we need to hit her with that one shot. And she was evading our shots with that bear very, very well. But guys, rolling on to the next rarity, the Mythics. Let's see how we can do. 
So next are the Mythic Brawlers, and I'm sure you guys can come to the conclusion of who is better out of Mortis and Tara. Now, I wish it was Mortis, but of course it's Tara. Tara is still incredibly good in this game. Even though she got a nerf in the last balance change, she's still super, super good. And I feel like if they wanted to nerf her so that she wasn't so relevant in the meta, like, like how she's been since she's been released in this game, I feel like you'd have to direct it towards her super, much like what happened to Crow. Now, Crow is not incredibly good, but there was a time Crow was like top three at all times. But they nerfed the super regeneration of his super so that he only gets it like once a game so I feel like if they really wanted to do something to Tara it'd be directed towards her super but guys it's gonna take a lot to see Mortis better than Tara that's all I'm saying so guys I feel like we should be able to do pretty dang good with um on Roboboss with Tara we'll have to see we have a little bit of wiggle room as well we are a little bit above 500 so hopefully we don't lose trophies and hopefully we get that plus one trophy so we can progress onto the legendary brothers with just two hiccups on our road so here we go okay guys cross your finger there's no teaming Cross your fingers. Maybe it's just a shot, because it's been, it's been a while since I've done Solo Showdown on my main account. I've been playing a lot of Solo Showdown on my mini for, like, streams and stuff. So I'm not used to maybe a lot of the teaming that's always here at the 500s, you know? Maybe it's just something I gotta get back and used to. Okay, I want her to come to me. If we get a super advantage on her... I'm basically just trying to get super off this time at this point. I don't... I'm kind of accepting that I'm not gonna be able to kill her. But if we kind of stamp down this location, we can get that box to the left and this box to the right. We have to be careful here. So it's either go for it and risk Tar coming. Uh, do we go for it? We're going to take 3,000 damage. Okay. Not sure if it was worth. It was worth. <laughs> okay, let's see. Maybe we can get these guys sandwiched together. They're teaming. Dang it. I'm just going to get away from that situation. I am not here. Teaming, 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 guys, I tell ya. Okay, so, we'll see. Six brawlers left, and we're at that 500 mark, remember? So we have to get at least four, fourth place. So watch for the fourth, or the four brawlers remaining. I think we can do it. Two people have to die. Don't want to be close to that Shelly. She's a definite threat with six power cubes. We're halfway on her super. There's someone in that bush straight ahead. So what do we do? Do we loop around and try and get the vertical angle on him? It's Mortis. Okay, nothing's really happening. It's kind of a stalemate, so I would feel much better if we had our super here. And is the is the robot gonna lock onto us? I really don't like when the robot is lurking around. It makes it very, very difficult. Alright. Hey Tar. Okay, I got my super flashing, just in case. Okay, just kind of telling people to get the heck away from me. <laughs> I got my super, get the heck away from me. That's what I'm saying. Okay, there we go. We're to that fourth place spot, which is good. Okay, duke it out, you two. Maybe take some damage from the boss. Let's keep damaging the Nita. Maybe let's drag... Got my super. <laughs> we got a bear and a boss on us. I think we're going to take third place here. Yep. <laughs> and it's at our own accord, basically. <laughs> okay, guys. Moving on to the Legendary Brawlers. The final rarity in the game. So, I guess, you know, we've had pretty bad luck with the Mythics in previous videos like this. But Tar was pretty, pretty easy. I shouldn't say easy. There was some pretty heartbeat moments, but we still were able to get it done. Next rarity is the Legendary Rarity. I feel like you guys could also predict this one as well. It is my man, Spike. Spike is so freaking good in this game. And in the balance change, he didn't even get a nerf. So he was number one previous to this balance change. And I feel like he's the best in the game after this balance change still. The man is OP. He's relevant on every single game mode. You can play him on every, every single game mode. Um, so guys, let's hop into it and see what we can do. We're at 508. He's our highest level brawler. And he was our highest before this season reset, as you guys could probably tell. I think we're at 515 with him, which is pretty dang high for me. Okay, here we go. So the main goal in this season as well is to try and get all my brothers to 500, and I feel like that's definitely doable. We only have to get two brothers back to 500. Well, now three, because we got to get Barley back, because of those freaking bulls, guys. Okay, here we go. We can bully out this Ricochet, or the Ricochet, pretty easily. Just, he has just the most insane pressure. That's the thing about Spike, that you can't really get with any other brawler. They have pressure, but Spike does so much damage, and he has so much range. The only thing that's really holding them back is his health. He's a very unique brawler. See, we're hitting him, and we're just throwing it in his vicinity. 
We're, just, we're only going to pick up one here. We got a three-man team. Get me out of that situation. I don't want to be a part of it. We're going to hit anyone? I, I'm not even going to stop and hit that box because there's a big team on the left side of the map. I think it should be in our best interest to just get to the right side. Okay, just checking to see if anyone is lurking in the bushes. Should have probably wall checked. See if there's anyone over here. You never know. Okay, we need to make it to that fourth place spot again. Now we got a body to contest with over here. Someone else die, please. If we got a team, more than likely the people who are just strolling around are probably going to die pretty quickly. Okay, Mortis with five. Is he camping? Looks like it. We only need one more person to die. Come on. Someone die. I am not here. Should we rush that barley? I don't want to risk being that one that literally is one trophy away. I'm just going to play it smart until the poison creeps too close to us. So when we're forced to move, basically. Okay, we are forced to move. I'm pressuring this barley. Get the heck out of here. Okay, bar barley. It's either barley or me. There we go. My goodness, scare the crap out of me. Okay, we're now we're now we're dead. <laughs> and I think this spike is gonna be able to take it home. Maybe those guys weren't teaming in the end. But guys, we were able to do it with two hiccups, which I'm fine with. And I feel like one of them was because of teaming. So I am okay with that. Now the barley was just super aggro, aggressive bull, just charging at us relentlessly without any care to his own health. But guys, nonetheless, hopefully you all enjoyed it. Do you agree with my picks? I feel like they're pretty solid. The only one that I feel like is can be discussed about is the barley and the poco. Um, I feel like people can make a strong argument for uh, poco being the best and a strong argument for barley being the best. But guys, nonetheless, if you did enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like on it. Really, really appreciate it. With that being said, make sure to keep having fun with Brawl Stars and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. Take me away from home. Show me all the places I've never known. And we'll change.